Hello, God's peace to you, my dear friends. This is our third Advent Midweek Devotion. Uh, today, looking at, again, another one of the names or titles of Jesus as we think about the theme, What Child Is This? Today, I want to talk about one other specific title, the King of the Jews. It occurs to me, if you ever really want to get in trouble with the authorities, all you have to do is claim to be one of those authorities yourself. If you want to get in trouble, claim to be in charge. The title King of the Jews comes up a few times. Now, the first time I can think of is in uh, Matthew's Gospel, as the wise men come looking for Jesus. They go to the logical place. They go to Jerusalem, to the capital, and they say, we're looking for the king of the Jews, the one that is born king of the Jews. And that got Herod the Great all worked up. He was the king, so he thought. Any other king was a threat to his power, so it got him worked up enough that he killed every child in the vicinity of Bethlehem that was even close to the right age. He didn't want any other king in his position. Later, as the Jewish leaders were trying to figure out some way to get the Romans to put Jesus to death, put to death for blasphemy like we talked about yesterday because uh, Jesus didn't disagree that he was the Son of God. They couldn't crucify him. They couldn't put him to death because of blasphemy, so they found another way. This idea of king of the Jews. It's treason, insurrection, sedition to claim that you are the rightful king instead of the Roman Caesar. When accused by Pilate, Jesus didn't put up much of a defense, and so he was crucified. And they put the title above his head, King of the Jews. We still use that concept of kingship and kingdom to talk about Jesus and his people. The, the kingdom of God refers to uh, God's righteous reign over his people. We talk about Christ the King. We even celebrated that a couple of weeks ago as the last Sunday of the church year. But what kind of king is Jesus? Like I mentioned in that sermon on Christ the King Sunday, Jesus is the kind of king whose royal robe is a towel wrapped around his waist, whose crown is, a, is made of thorns, and whose throne is the cross. Jesus is a king that doesn't grasp for power or influence, but instead gives it up, surrenders his power, and serves. When Pilate asked him if he was really a king, Jesus told him that his kingdom wasn't of this world. It's a different kind of kingdom. He was a king who could have called down legions of angels to command, but he didn't. He was a king who could have led a popular uprising. He certainly had the crowds following him for a time, but he didn't. Instead, he was a king who truly lived and died solely to serve his people. Not the kind of king we're used to seeing, not the kind of king we usually expect, not the kind of king who enjoys the trappings of power and prestige, but a king who lowered himself. Not the kind of king we expect, but the kind of king we need. Jesus is our king. Let's pray. King of kings reign among us, not as a king of power, but as a king who cares for us and serves us and gives us a place in your kingdom forever. Inspire in us the will to find our true authority in the service we render to one another. In your name we pray. Amen. God be with you, friends. Talk again tomorrow.